Yo, today I've got a review of the new Lil Baby album, It's Only Me. Lil Baby is back, he's arguably the biggest rapper out right now, and I mean, this project is likely going to sell over 200k first week, which is, I, it's insane, I mean, goddamn. I think he's for sure a good rapper, but what I wish to get from him is a bit more variety, so I was hoping for that on this project. My bubble was realistically already kind of burst when I saw that there were going to be 23 songs on this album. No, God, please, no, no! I mean, bro, do I need to make a whole separate video? video on this stop making albums with over 20 songs please man please this goes out to all artists okay not just little baby i don't think anyone likes the fact that it's over 20 songs and it would have been much much better if it was shortened to even 15 so i think that definitely hurt this album but aside from that i wanted to go on to my main point which was variety and uh i don't really see that much of it here the general sound is trap more or less the sound you would expect from little baby the mixing is sort of weird i find that the melodies are a bit quiet and the drums shine a bit more i like the fact that the melodies are quiet i think it makes the project feel a bit more chilled out and relaxed if that makes any sense but what i do not like is the fact that the mixing lets there be focus on the drum and the drums here have literally been copy pasted i mean come on bro please on almost every track there is the same sound selection for drums and honestly i think those drums are really starting to be overused not just in little baby's music just all around in trap the amount of times they heard this on the album Like, it genuinely pissed me off. Like, I want something different, man. Hearing the same thing over and over again, it's not fun. It's really not fun. And on the tracks where it does do something different, they sound great and are some of my favorites from the project. But drum pattern aside, I want to start with a few negatives. Okay, I, there will be positives, I promise you. There are positives about this album, but I want to start with the negatives. This is nothing too different from Lil Baby's music. Aside from way more use of samples for the melody, which I like to be fair, his flow or music really has not changed much, nor does he attempt a different style. Now, look, if this album was maybe 12 to 15 songs, it would have probably probably been fine with that, it would have still been a complaint, but if you take the best 12-15 songs on this album and you sequence them well, I feel like you would have a pretty solid body of work. But sadly, that is not the case here, as there are 23 songs. This is by far the biggest issue on this project, it really drags out more than it should, and I feel like it deteriorates from the recognizability of the songs. This is what I mean, if so many songs with similar drum patterns and flows play, I feel like it can take away from your interest and you can't spot some of the more standout songs. I find that most projects like this don't even have standout songs, but thankfully okay little babies in question here and that doesn't seem to be the case here i know i've talked all negative so far pretty much but here's where i can definitely praise little baby a bit he is for sure a very very good rapper and i think he proves it here if you sit down to focus on his lyrics and hear him out i think he's actually a decent writer he has bars and is able to make words flow effortlessly into a beat which is definitely not an easy thing to do and he pulls this off very well also talking about the lyrics uh, he did this dj academics and his response was calling him le bebe and his flows although yes not different from what he's done before they're still very good his voice for sure contributes to that because yeah little baby has a really weird but good voice okay I, I can't lie i really like his voice i'm gonna make a weird comparison here hopefully you don't crucify me for making this comparison but his voice sort of reminds me of little wayne's it sounds naturally auto-tuned like i don't actually know how much effect auto-tune does on his voice and i don't think it does that much if i'm being honest and that's the same way i feel for little wayne it's a really recognizable voice and it's pretty cool and i think it's one of little baby's strong suits but i wish he did experiment a bit more with his voice. I find his delivery to be monotonous at times, maybe more often than not. I wish that's something he works on, although I can also see how this works on darker and more serious sounding instrumentals. It can make for pretty gritty and hard sounding songs, but I can't help but think of how it would have sounded if he tried a bit more. With his voice that is, because genuinely I think he's got a lot of potential in that aspect. And to talk about those harder hitting instrumentals I mentioned, I think those songs are some of the real highlights on this album and are standout tracks. For example, Pop Out with Nardo Wick, although I'm not really a huge fan of that song, I think it's fine. I do think it shows off a calmer beat and also a quite hard one. I like Little Baby on the second half more and he's also got some cool bars on there, I mean. Come on now, Le Bebe, come on now. But I think the use of samples can definitely be used as an advantage on the calmer songs, I just don't think he does it well here. Like for example, the song that samples Pound Cake by Drake in a minute is carried by the sample. And Lil Baby just doesn't do nearly what he should be doing over that legendary of a sample. Although I will say I don't expect him to match Drake and Jay-Z's performance on it because like that's kind of impossible let's be honest before we get into my favorite songs though make sure you like and subscribe all right let's get into it for my favorite tracks i have to start with my favorite on here never hating with young thug absolute banger the melody is great lil da baby hold on why have i written lil da baby in the script <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> the melody is great lil baby not the baby does well over it and young thug does not disappoint on the feature now, 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 
Real spill, the intro, Lil Baby raps very well on there, has good lyrics and introduces the album pretty well. Hey, the single from this album, I went from not really liking this song to it becoming one of my favorites. I do think it goes on for a bit longer than it should, but still, Lil Baby's verses are decent and that chorus is catchy as hell. It's her first time coming to my house. And lastly, Forever with Friday, probably the calmest song on here, but I love Lil Baby's lyrics on it. Maybe we should talk about it later when we sober up. Lil Baby definitely displays that he's a good rapper on this project, but he could do with more variety. I'm gonna give this project a light 6 out of 10. And that's gonna be it for my review. Tell me what you guys think. If you liked the album, tell me why. If you didn't, also tell me why. I'm looking to hear you guys' opinions. Please make sure you like and subscribe. That will mean so much to me that it'll help push my video and my channel into the YouTube algorithm. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, see you guys next time. Peace. Yeah.